Okay, we're here at Duffus Castle now for a night investigation. Never done Duffus before. Been here many a times, never investigated. Knowing our luck, there will be just nothing. That wouldn't surprise me a bit. Now, Duffus Castle has been abandoned in 1705. So we're looking at a really long time where this castle has not been in use at all. So if there's anything left, it's difficult to say. We'll find out, I guess. That is the alarm. That is the alarm. That was very quick. <laughs> very quick. It's all the way down in the cellars. We better go before it wakes up the neighborhood. <laughs> oh, all the way down. Very quick. It's all the way down in the cellars. We better go before it wakes up the neighborhood. Oh, all the way down. How the fuck? Yeah. Hmm. Wait, all the way down there? Yep. Oh my god. There's no people. That seems kind of suspicious. Uh...
maybe it detected the bot. Who knows? Shocked. That is loud as all hell. Is there anybody here with me right now? Did you trigger that alarm? Somebody must have triggered the alarm. Was it you? If there's a spirit here with us, they just triggered the alarm. Don't be afraid. We just used this alarm to let us know that you're here. And if you're here, can you let us know in any other form that you're here? Maybe throw a stone? There's a lot of small stones here. We're going to be very quiet now, so if you want to, just throw one of those little stones. What I will do now, we're going to leave this room I'm going to set the alarm again, and if you like, you can trigger it again. Just for the record, the alarm that just was triggered, it's got an infrared motion detector, and from experience I know it has to be at least a cat size-wise to trigger that alarm so that was rather odd and we're standing on the artificial hill and this piece of castle here that you see is slanted for a very good reason because the hill was never designed to be strong enough for a stone castle it was designed for the wood one which was then burned down and they built a stronger and much heavier stone castle in its place, which then broke apart and some of it slid down the hill, as you can see. Ah. My name is Alex. I'm Milka. And I'm Robert. It would be very kind of you if you can tell us your name. Oh, don't climb again. No, you don't want to go up there. It'd be interesting to film from up there, though. <laughs> He's always climbing. What would you expect? He's your son. Um, Duffus Castle is one of these really old castles over here. I can't really stretch as much. Yeah, I can reach it. That's okay. Yes, please, I get you light. How, how can there be so much activity down there? I don't get it. I can't really stretch as much. Yeah, I can reach it. That's okay. Yes, please, I get you light. How, how can there be so much activity down there? I don't get it. 
I mean, what triggers the alarm? Where the heck are you going? Climb into the next one. Oh. <laughs> there you go, Spider-Man! Do you sense anything up there, Alex? Apart from height and danger? <laughs> uh, no. Ask some questions. You would be in the first floor now. Maybe just sit in the in the window where there used to be the seat, like they would have in the olden days. <coughs> I'm here on the first floor now. And I was just wondering, because I've always wondered this: when you die. Do you see the building around you getting destroyed and aging? Or do you see it how it was, how it is, like back then? Because right now you just see me climbing through the floor, <laughs> which would be a bit weird. So. I've told them to come up here, so. Hopefully we won't hear the alarm going off. Did you put your back on? Yeah. Was there anything? Did you see anything? Any animals or anything? Nothing? Nothing. There's nothing there. So weird, isn't it? Mm. I mean, put it this way. If they've heard my message, they'll come up here and talk to us. Hopefully. Here. No, it's going Never off again. Mind. Nope. Never mind. Well, I think we better switch it off. I mean, either there's something really going on down there. I don't know what Probably, I mean, if, it, if it's actually something that's worthwhile. I mean, that is wild. It's the third time now. Down here right now, setting off this alarm for the third time this night. Okay. Are you maybe trapped down here? Were you maybe a prisoner down here? Were you trying to make your way out just now? To go upstairs when the alarm went off. It's okay. We are here now with cameras. We can hear you. If you want to send that message, just say it now to the little devices in our hands. Well, they won't know what a device it is, so just... Those things in our hands that glow. Yeah, those things that we've got. Speaking to those. I'm just wondering, I want to know if you're a trapped soul down here. And if there's anything we can do to help. I'm just wondering, I want to know if you're a trapped soul down here. And if there's anything we can do to help. Because if you are down here, I want you to know that you're not being ignored. And you can move on if you want. Yeah, I did hear that. You did hear that, did you? Yeah. I thought it was the car. No, it was somebody knocking on wood there. <laughs> no, no, no car. Touch wood. 
Because I know I heard a car back there with one of those silly sports exhausts. No, I wonder if there's any spirits in here. Would you like to communicate with us? Well, I've got in my hand here. We have a bit of cat's hair, I think. <laughs> it's what we call a singing bowl. And I wonder if you can hear this. If you can hear this, and if you're the one who triggered the alarm now three times, can you please come close to me? Can you come close to this sound? If you're here, can you throw a pebble, maybe? If you don't like that sound, throw it at me. And I know I should stop. Maybe we should check from time to time if there's somebody parking and coming up. Not they, that they accuse us of, you know, playing with your cult and stuff. Uh. <laughs> now, why would they accuse us of that? We're only looking for spirits, you know, from the other side. It's nothing unusual. Right, if you're still here. You can come up to the castle with me. And we can speak in peace and quiet. Porter's Lodge. Is there anybody on the ball? This is the latrine. Well, it was. Come on, you can speak to me. Let's start with your name. Or am I just alone in here, speaking to myself? Or do you think it's all so funny? Shame the camera doesn't pick that up. The light is not strong enough, or the camera are not good enough. Right, I just went into what I call my little mini trance it's just something that I started doing recently and just after I first saw something 
in front of my inner eye and I was just doing this. What I felt, what I saw was a young woman and she was wearing really old clothes. She looked like she was carrying some sort of a basket and she certainly looked like a, a working woman that worked here on the castle. Um, she was certainly not somebody from a rich family or anybody from the you know, household or anything. She was just a, a very lowly servant, I would say. And I saw her just walking by and she went into the store over there and I went back and went over to the wall where there was looked like other stores or some sort of workshops. So I have a feeling if there's something here, it might be this young woman that is that used to work here when it was still a, a working castle. From the clothing, I would say middle ages, maybe. That's certainly what I felt and what I saw now. Maybe if she was going into the stores a number of times, maybe she triggered that alarm. It would make sense to me. Sorry, I'm just really... See that little light up there? Above the, the, the yeah. lit cloud from the from the moon? Just above the castle? Yeah. That looks so eerie, doesn't it? I'm just really sad. You feel sad? Like, really sad. Because I was just seeing images of the castle burning down and people running and screaming and <sighs> was it a wooden castle when you saw it yeah because it was burning down and Jeez, man. Yes, I just saw like a kind of me going up to the castle and it was like burning down and people were running. And like there were people on fire as well. And people on fire? God. Are you still here? you make Alex feel these emotions of what it was like when the castle was under siege? When it was attacked by Andrew Murray and by Robert the Bruce? Yeah, it's just like what I had. <coughs> oh. just That's what it would have been like. Because it's, I think it, I don't know if it says it on here. It doesn't even say here. This is what it would, look, would have looked like. So you would have had the wooden castle on top. Yeah. And like a little village down here. So all this, the thatched roofs would have burnt when they were attacked. That would make perfect sense. The 
that young woman that's working here, are you still here? Are you still around us? Were you a witness to what happened to the castle when it was under attack? Is that what you made Alex feel? If you did that, thank you for that. Alex might have been crying and it might have touched him very deeply but we're still grateful that you do that to us. So, as I said, I saw this sort of woman in medieval clothing and she looked like a, like a servant. Okay. And she had a, like a basket, so she was... Walking. Mom! Did you whistle? Oh, well, that's coming from over there. That's an animal or something. No, I heard it from over here. So I saw this woman walking by. She was carrying like a basket. She was coming down this way, going into that cellar. Oh my. Coming back and walking over there to some workshop. Okay. And just seconds later, Alex started crying because he saw the castle burning and people dying. Oh, lovely. Was it wooden or stone? Wooden. Oh. Lovely. So I thought maybe that young girl witnessed what happened here. Well, that's maybe why she's still here because she that would be ever so slightly terrifying had this traumatic experience when she died and the castle was attacked and maybe all her family and friends died did you notice that the alarm didn't go off yet once yeah. for a while now in there short while twice did that girl go in there three yeah times maybe maybe I think we should start the voice recorder. Nope. All good. I don't really feel anything any anyway. And just moments later Alex started crying. Okay. Overcome with emotions, felt well, really sadness, total sadness, and he saw the castle burning and people dying, burning to death. But it was still a wooden castle. Shall we do a session in here first? Yeah, somewhere out the wind that would be nice because it's and quite chilly. Down in the cellar, because I have a feeling that cellar is the most active place. Yeah, okay. <sighs> <laughs> okay, um, EVP session in the old tower. Is there anybody here with us? Can you please speak to that little device in my hand that's got a little red light on it? Can you use your voice to speak to us? My name is Stefan. My name is Alex. My name is Robert. And I'm Elke. So we would highly appreciate if you could speak to us and tell us your name. Hmm. Where did I leave the lighter? In here. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Can you tell us what it was like in this castle when you lived? Alex said he felt sadness when he saw the castle burning and people dying. Have you been here then, when the castle was attacked by Andrew Murray and later by Robert the Bruce? Have you been here then? I'm also breathing right next to me. 
Are you standing next to Elke? Can I come over, please? If you like the audible thing, do it again. Some say that this here was the prison pit. Can I come in, please? Have you been a prisoner here? Locked away? Awaiting justice? Did I see you trying to escape earlier? Or were you making sure that one of the prisoners was still in there, in the prison record? I just feel somebody touching my leg. Is that you touching my leg? My whole leg tingles right now. Tell your story. This is your chance now. Just come here and speak. Do you want to come over, Alex? Uh, earlier, when we were down near the cellar. I got sad and I saw the wooden castle being burnt down. I was just wondering if there are any tortured souls here from that moment. Is anyone still standing on top of this wall? If you are, come and speak to me. I'd like to know your name. If you're standing up here, are you a guard? Looking at across the land? Or were you someone younger? Running across the top? With your friends, maybe? If you're out here, can you come and talk to me? Did this wall make you feel secure? When you were standing on the inside of it? Over this side? I wonder if you can see these lights in the crystals. This is a quartz. Some say they make it easier for you to see the light. 
Is that true? Or maybe it's the rose quartz that you prefer. Can you come close to the glowing stones, please? I bet you must be intrigued by them. And when you're here with us, can you speak to us? Or make us feel your emotions again? Isn't that light beautiful? Isn't that light beautiful? Delays on the voice recorder next. Mm -hmm. I just wrap up my hand, it's kind of cold. You see where the red light is now? This thing also has got a small red light on, and it can record your voice if you speak to it. Please do so, so we can hear you later. So what we're going to do, we're going to get the motion sensor again that went off three times in very, very short succession. And it didn't go off now for a long time over there at the kitchen. So we're going to set it up again here to see if something triggers it again. And we're going to leave the light on and we'll leave the recorder rolling just to see if we capture something. Because I have a feeling that this cellar is the most active room so far. And I can be mistaken, but I thought I heard somebody walking over that gravel over there. Just two steps. This would have been the old approach castle here. the light. I was, you know, looking at the shadows. Okay. You know, we had some some shadow figures, bunnies and dogs and Jesus. All right, so you made shadow figures. I made shadow figures, and I was hoping somebody would join in. <laughs> would sure. didn't happen. Anything else unusual? Nope, nothing. It's quiet and I'm cold. Yeah, I said to Alex already, we just give it another 15 minutes down there, mm. see if the motion trigger, motion sensor gets triggered again, and then we call it a night. You want the camera, Robert, for a while? Yeah, sure. Not for cell phones. I'd say this. The alarm's going off three times to begin of the investigation was unexplainable because ever since we then moved the motion detector and moved it back here it didn't go off again I wonder if we maybe scared away the person that was here which is unfortunate but uh, it certainly didn't go off again so the first three times just amazing because there's no animals here we didn't see any animals 
and um, I think it's fair to say that this room so certainly had some activity in here. I mean, I saw that young girl walking into here with a basket. I wonder if it was her just doing some job here. Hello there. Hello there. Everybody's freezing. I yeah, I gathered. They're gonna call it a night soon. The wind chill is sort of uh, yeah. cold. Look, I've got three light sources in my hand. <laughs> Everything is lit up in here. Sure. Is that little lizard still there? Yeah, look, there he is. <sighs> Possibly, yeah. Dirty little lizard. <laughs> oh, he's getting dirty. <laughs> Crawling all about in the in the dirt. A bit like you. Hello. Have you found it? Except cold. Don't say cold. The the light. I found it. And adventurous, nothing happened. Except for the <laughs> alarm going on three times in like five minutes. Don't forget your strange, sad feelings. Yeah. And Dad's strange apparition. I would say it's been pretty interesting, Mum. Yeah. Right. You just you just haven't been there to see it. <laughs> or feel it or hear it or anything. Yeah, the only thing I heard was a little breath right next to me. Yeah, you you've it. been sat on a wall for half the investigation. <laughs> You're welcome, lazy. Welcome to my world. <sighs> what being cold and lazy? No. Being in pain. Cold and old. And <laughs> cold, cold and old. <laughs> <laughs> Life of a OAP. No, that's 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 not true. You're not an OAP. You're middle-aged, if anything. Is it off, yeah? You off. Well, you obviously didn't. <laughs> Fucking scary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just jump out, please. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> if the motion sound is not at all. Don't try that in my face. Didn't go off. <sighs> Sorry, but otherwise I can't see your beautiful face. <laughs> Leave a little light on, a little light on, leave a little light on for me. Well, that's what they're doing. It's sort of ruined by my light. <laughs> oh. There you go. Like that. <laughs> yeah, that's better. And it's hard to get in there because it's very narrow and <laughs> very squint. Even the toilet, or in this case, the latrine. Still smells like middle ages. We need to really zoom in, 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 in to see that there's low buttery. Goodbye. Right. Okay. It's the lizard. <laughs> <laughs> it's the lizard draining the batteries. Yeah, true. It was true all story. fine up until I went into close up mode with the camera and then it said low buttery. Goodbye. So it's the lizard. It's a haunted lizard. Yeah, it looks like a box of utensils. Yay. Hmm. I never knew they had Tupperware in uh, 1100s AD. Strange, but we'll roll with it. <laughs>